Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television First, the headlines. The Ministry of Housing approves evaluation of real estate prices in the governorates of the Sultanate. To support small and medium enterprises, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth provides agricultural plots for investment in Al Musana'a. And more than 2.6% is the Sultanate's gross domestic product growth expected by International Monetary Fund in 2017. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President George Konzoi Khan Rote of Fiji on his country's independence anniversary. Assigned by His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Mas'ud al sinedi Minister of Commerce and Industry, headed today to Turkey, leading the Sultanate's delegation to the 23rd World Energy Congress due to be held in the city of Istanbul. The Congress discusses several topics related to the energy future, alternative energy, and the intra-trade opportunities between the countries in the field of energy. It also discusses the way of energy linkage fields of Middle East countries, as well as producing, storing, transferring, and selling the energy. The Ministry of Housing started the application of evaluation of real estate prices in various governorates of the Sultanate. This step was taken by the Ministry with the aim to identify the approximate price, which is equal to the actual price of the real estate in the market. It also pointed out that this evaluation gives an index of the actual price as well as knowing price of the real estate before making a selling or purchasing decision. It is worth mentioning that this real estate evaluation process will reduce the individual efforts during the evaluation procedure. The evaluation of real estate is also a subject to offer and demand as it may increase or decrease according to the market where it is reviewed every four months. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth stressed that it will soon announce an agricultural plot of providing around 50 lands in the Wilaya of Al Musana'a in the Governorate of South Batana. The aim is to support the youth owners of small and medium projects as well as to provide an integrated package for agri agriculture and animal projects. The new plots will be providing agricultural lands divided into three main parts one for greenhouses, another for open agriculture, and the third for pesticulture. It will also contribute in providing job opportunities for Amani youth in addition to focusing on the best usage of water resources and taking the Omani agriculture to modern levels. More than 2.6% is the growth expected by the International Monetary Fund for gross domestic product in the Sultanate in 2017. The International Monetary Fund in its annual report was also expected, expected the increase in governmental revenues in the Sultanate during 2016-2017. The fund's report also expected the total general deficit will reach more than 11.5% in 2016 and 9.5% in 2017 instead of previous expectations of 13 of 14 percent and 13 percent respectively specialists saw that the decrease in total gross domestic product came due to expected improvements in oil prices and government's procedures to control expenditure and increase revenues reducing subsidies increasing domestic fuel prices in addition to taxes on companies the government continued dealing with the international decline in oil prices in addition to cover the gap in the sharp decline of the government revenues through issuing government bonds. The total value of existing governmental bonds reached more than 1.5 billion Omani reals from the first version of selling the sovereign bonds. The average revenue deficit in the ninth five-year plan will be around 29%. The general deficit is expected this year to reach 38% which led the government to sell sovereign bonds and succeeded in saving 250 million Omani reals and avoid big public spending. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Sultanate joins the world countries in marking the World Pharmacists Day.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Reviewing bilateral relations between the Sultanate and Qatar top discussions of His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Mahfouz al mandiri Chairman of State Council, with His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Sumaik al murri Chairman of Qatari National Human Rights Committee. The meeting discussed a number of regional and international issues with mutual concern. His Excellency the Qatari guest and his delegation expressed his delight to visit the Sultanate wishing more growth and prosperity for the bilateral relations between the two countries, which help to achieve their aspirations in all fields. More than 39 million postal materials were distributed in the Sultanate during the year 2016. The Sultanate participates with world countries in the celebration of World Post Day, which falls on the 9th of October every year. The local postage materials handed in the Sultanate reached more than 18 million items, while the foreign items registered through Oman Post reached more than 20 million. The National Center for Statistics and Information said that the number of post offices in the Sultanate in 2015 stood at 82, while the number of post offices boxes reached more than 165,000. The youth committees in the clubs in the governorates continue to receive the participants for the fourth edition Youth Creations Competition 2016-2017. The competition aimed to develop the youth work in the clubs as well as attract those excelled in various activities and enhance their capabilities. It also came to enable the youth to interact with different cultural, social, artistic and sports activities. It further focused on attracting the youth in the clubs and sports complexes to provide centers for their creativity in various fields. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry clarified that the total amount of stamped gold during the first nine months of the year reached 8,711 kilograms at a value of around 170,000 Omani rials. With regard to the Sultanate's imports of gold, the weight of them reached more than 8,266 kilograms in jewelry and accessories. The ministry's step is aimed to encourage the value metal industry and preserve it as state's legacies in addition to discourage evasion of customs duties and protect gold traders from obtaining impure metals by determining the accurate percentage and carats of the valued met metals. Under the theme Financial Opportunities for Investment Projects, a seminar was held to introduce commercial bank services in the Governorate of South Batana. The seminar revealed facilities, packages provided to owners of small and medium enterprises in order to establish their projects and benefit from investment opportunities, especially in the logistics sector. The seminar came as an, an initiative by Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry Branch in the Governorate of South Batana to improve investment sectors in the Governorate. A large number of male and female entrepreneurs took part in the event. The Sultanate joins the world countries in marking the World Pharmacist Day, which falls on September 25th each year. The celebration, which was held in the University of Nizwa, came in a bid to raise public awareness of the role played by pharmacists and encourage the activities that enhance and defend the role of pharmacists in improving healthcare. This year's theme, I am caring for you, targeted the different categories of pharmacists, health workers and organizations, as well as health decision makers and all sectors of the society. This day aims at enhancing the quality of health care services rendered to patients by ensuring safe and effective use of pharmaceutical products and highlighting the complementary role played by the pharmacist as an active member of the medical team. Due to the rainfall during the last three days, some mountainous villages in the wilaya of Madha of Mahaba in the governorate of Baremi turned into green oasis. The groundwater quantity increased and the citizens started the agriculture season. The villages in the area are surrounded by palm trees, greenery and fellage that add more beauty to their attraction. The area is also attracts tourists from inside and outside the Sultanate to enjoy the natural scenery.
Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rains over the Hajar Mountains. Winds will be north to northeasterly, light to moderate over the coasts of Sea of Oman, while along the coasts of the Arabian Sea, it will be northwesterly, light to moderate. Seas will be moderate along the coasts of the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 2 meters. Rest of the coasts, it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1 meter. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Ministry of Housing approves evaluation of real estate prices in the governorates of the Sultanate. To support small and medium enterprises, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth provides agricultural plots for investment in Al Musana'a. And more than 2.6% is the Sultanate's gross domestic product growth expected by International Monetary Fund in 2017. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.